Okay, it's mid-month November 2019. There's not really a lot to report as of yet. There's a new thing at work apparently. Um, work 36 hours, get paid for 12. I called and asked about that and they're supposed to be fixing it. So maybe it'll be on this check, I don't know. The person that I work with did not want to work Sunday, so he went and complained that there wasn't enough parts to run. I could have done eight hours on Sunday of a crappy job, but I didn't want to do that, so I just told him I'd take the day off as well. So I only have 24 hours next week. Which I probably should not have done that. I probably should have actually done the bad job for the eight hours, but because I'm already out Thanksgiving, but we shut down like on the 27th and don't open again until December 1st. So essentially, I'm losing three work days right here when I can least afford it, pretty much. So these four days were on this check which means I should have gotten these three days on this one and I only got one day. And then these four days should be on this check here, so I should have another 497 here, which I gotta make sure I've got enough to pay all the bills before I can spend anything. So the other the outlook looks kind of bleak right now, halfway through the month. Hopefully, I may volunteer to work over on one of these days or come in on the holidays if they need somebody. I don't know, otherwise I'll wind up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days off in a row. I don't know. Let me know what you think. There's not a lot I can do about it. Be oh, because of this, I transferred uh, Prime to one of the credit cards. At least for now. Hopefully I can get that paid back before the end of the month so I don't have to show it on the bills report. Otherwise, I think that would have caused me to bounce checks paying this other stuff. I could have canceled the renewal and just paid the monthly though. Was another option. Okay, in case you're wondering why I use Pure Talk USA instead of Mint Mobile, uh, Pure Talk has just raised the high speed data from 500 megabytes to 1 gigabyte per month, but it's still 22.37 a month roughly. The thing is, it's not, Mint Mobile is not really available inside my house and inside where I work. This isn't my address, but as you can see here, there is no coverage for indoor residential, indoor commercial. in some of these areas. Well, this is. But over near where I live, technically that's Blacksburg. around in my area there is no 
it doesn't really offer good indoor coverage. So I'm afraid to try it. I may try it eventually. I guess I could move over here somewhere. Two G works better than four G over there. Same here. I may give it a shot someday, but right now I'm thinking that it's not good for indoor use. So, but that's the reason that I don't use Mint Mobile. I am aware of it. I mean, it's like $15 for three gigabytes of data. And it may be unlimited after that. Let me double check. Okay, so it's unlimited talk and text, but you are limited in how much data that you get. My phone is GSM and CDMA, so I can use either one. I do use my phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, which would really use up 3 gig of data quick. Pure Talk works kind of good. I mean, it, it's not great, but it does work. So... For the little bit of savings, five, six, seven dollars a month savings, for a service that you get three gigabytes, but it may not even work, I don't think that it's something to switch to. But if they get it working in this area, then it would be certainly worth the savings to switch to it. Their cheapest plan is fifteen dollars a month. So, but let me know what you think in the comments. What should I do? I may ask Dork over, I don't know. Don't forget to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Which you probably won't. Give me a thumbs up even if you don't like the video. Just give me a thumbs up. And smash that thumbs up. Smash it with Alan. Anyway, and I will see you in the next video.